Man, who said an A2 can't take turns? Who said an A2 can't take turns? This year's been a crazy year, but we gonna outdo it for sure next year, man. I'm pumped. What's up guys, it's your boy Fast Lane D and today <laughs> we got the entire Fast Lane fleet out here baby and we also got Tanner's giveaway R1 that he won Blondie but I want to do this video because I really haven't like talked to you guys in a while man and every time I post a video on the SP2, everyone's like, where's the H2? Every time I post a video on the H2, everyone's like, where's the R1M? <laughs> and I'm like, guys, I can only ride one bike at once. Yes, I still have all three of my babies. They aren't going anywhere as of right now. And I just want to give a shout out to First Always God for blessing me with these bikes because I would not be here without him at all but secondly you guys i definitely also would not be here without you guys so i really do appreciate it don't think i got here all by myself and did it all by myself like anyone that's ever successful in life knows they need other people to help them get to where they want to go but man it's just like surreal seeing these three bikes together i've dreamed of this for so long man i almost i don't know i'm at a loss for words every time i walk in my garage but we got some minor updates to the h2 of course, we got the Van Diemen on there, but the most obvious things, we got the upper and lower H2R wings. <laughs> this thing looks absolutely insane now. I'm in love with it. We're on the quest to build something faster than an H2R, but we're going to get to that later on. But to keep y'all updated, we also got... Actually, I'm going to throw y'all on my phone real quick. All right, all right. Here's probably a little bit better, but we got the inner or I don't even know what you call this, but inside cowlings, all in carbon, this piece in carbon, the side piece on the tank in carbon. We got the rear fender in carbon. Sprocket covers now in carbon. Air duct cover or air, I can't think of the word right now, but um, the air vent that directs the air that comes in from the front, comes in through here. In case you didn't know, this is actually like plastic. Like you can't, no air flows through that side only on this side so that flows down and into the motor down there so we got that in carbon and uh yeah we got some other pieces but this piece right here i got this in carbon to match you literally have to take this entire front fairing apart which side note if you have an h2 this is the worst bike <laughs> to work on worse than the ducati way worse than the r1m for sure everything is just extra on this bike um, I actually have this fender, front fender in carbon as well, but it was just too much work because it's got things riveted on. Like, this is legitimately, I have to have a rivet gun to pull that off. Same thing with another piece back here that I have. Literally, this little plastic piece that's on the swing arm is riveted on to the freaking swing arm. And it's, this thing's dirty right now, but yeah, I don't own a rivet gun. <laughs> I'm going to have to get one now just to replace this. Like, why does this need to be riveted on to the swing arm. It's literally just a little plastic cover. Ugh. But yeah, <laughs> gotta love her. It's a love-hate relationship for sure. But yeah, <laughs> just wanted to answer all y'all's questions about where are all the bikes. They're still here, don't worry. But all right guys, enough talking. Let's get this cold start going, babe. Oh, it's been too long. It's been too long, Nina. God, these wings make the bike so much bigger. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. And video just doesn't do this bike justice. Just how it sounds when it first starts. It's such a deeper tone than a typical inline four bike. I never thought I'd say this. 
but I genuinely think out of the three, this is my favorite. And this was my dream bike for forever. It was the SP2. This was my realistic dream bike. I never really cared to own an H2. I thought they were cool. Um, I rode one, I was like, why would anybody need this much power? This is so unnecessary. And here we are. <laughs> the undisputed king. Yeah. Yeah. H2 is my favorite. <laughs> and it's definitely clearly y'all's favorite because this is the most requested bike always. <laughs> oh, stop. <laughs> this, I think this might be a, this might be the fave. probably just got demonetized just from that acceleration only a lot of y'all been asking why i've been blurring out my speed and the wheelies and everything and if you guys want me to make a whole video showing you guys and explaining like why i've been doing that and showing you youtube's feedback on my videos i had a video get demonetized because i accelerated on the h2 literally accelerated I wasn't flying past cars or doing anything crazy. Just accelerated from a stop. <laughs> it's like YouTube literally wants me to treat you guys like a bunch of children. That's a whole separate video. But man, I love all the carbon on here. This is this cockpit has been completely transformed with all this stuff, man. The only thing that sucks now with these wings is I have no mirrors. <laughs> Oh, thank you. I guess there's a cop down here. Shout out to uh, people that uh, warned others that there's a cop ahead. We appreciate that. But man, um, <laughs> what up, Fast Lane Gang? I miss you guys, bro. We've been doing so much traveling. I'll have you guys covered for the winter. Like, we're supposed to get some snow this week. And that's why I kind of have to, like, get ahead with my videos. And so I've, I have so much content backlogged right now. Like, honestly, I need an editor. <laughs> Like that's that's my biggest thing right now. I need someone to help me edit videos because I have plenty of content. The content's not the issue. It's getting it out to you guys in time because I still work a full-time job and have a life outside of YouTube. Shockingly to a lot of y'all I know. God, that sound, man. You cannot beat that. We did a photo shoot with uh, this bike on Sunday, and I meant to put my GoPro on. I completely forgot. That's on me. I realized, like, once we left, I didn't have my camera strapped to my helmet. But the photos and the videos we got are just insane. So if you want to see those, make sure you go follow me over on Instagram. I'll be slowly posting them over there. I might throw some up for you guys to see, but if you want to see the rest, definitely go check me out over there. All right, let's get around this, dude. I probably won't even be able to include that because that'll get demonetized. Ridiculous, man. Oh, I see some wet spots. That's the only part about trying to ride hard on, uh, on streets like this. There's just, you really don't know the road. Like, you may know the road as far as, like, the turns, but... There may be some gravel that comes up or an animal with some water. <laughs> now I gotta blur that out. Tanner acting a fool. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Oh, I'll tell, look at that. Exactly what I'm talking about. Wow. What? And I don't even know what they're doing. And it's in the 40s today, so... Tires are cold. Roads cold. I've also seen a lot of comments asking if I'm going to build this bike. Um, yes, I definitely think eventually I'm going to end up doing like a crazy 300 wheel horsepower build. For now though, I'm just trying to enjoy the bike. Like if I do that, the bike's going to be gone for a while from the channel and I just got this bike a few months ago. So I kind of want to enjoy it at least for a little bit before I'm like, alright, let's just build it. And then it becomes just a race bike only. Man, who said an H2 can't take turns? Who said an ace two can't take turns? Okay, she actually, she can't take turns. <laughs> She's a big girl, man. Big girl. Big girl. But Nina can still move. I like them thick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, here we need the Ducati for all this. I don't know this bike well enough yet. Actually, yeah, I do. She's only got 700 miles on her. I don't even think 700 yet. I think less than that, actually. And this throttle's very on-off. Like, it's not like a, a smooth throttle. If you have an H2, you know what I'm talking about. Before you get it flashed. It's very like, it's accelerating or you're slowing down. Like there's no smooth roll on with this bike. Look at that. <laughs> Literally jerks you. Yeah, we made it down to one of my favorite spots here, man. Hell yes. My baby. All right, I gotta head back, right back around. <laughs> this sucks, man. I gotta be at work in literally 25 minutes. Um, <laughs> but man, we come a long way, man, from uh, back in the day, dude. Yes, sir. Love to see it, man. And Tanner's got something cool coming next year on the channel. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. I can't wait, man. Next year's gonna be a good year for sure. This year's been a crazy year. But we gonna outdo it for sure next year, man. I'm pumped. So we gotta turn right back around. Damn. Yeah, the grind don't stop, man. That's what we do to get you guys that content. Tanner rode 30 minutes out here to come read <laughs> Link up with me for a sec. Ooh, hold on, let me give you a couple rads, bro. And then we'll get out of here. Because you just can't beat this. That actually hurts my ears, dude. Alright, let's get out of here before these people come out. <laughs> my right eardrum is toast. Oh my god, that hurts so bad. This bike pierces your ears, man, I swear. <laughs> my man blocking the school bus, I'm dead. These are like the worst roads to ride your bicycle on. There's so many blind corners. Hearing this bike echo off those walls, man. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. Let's go, Nina. Atta girl. Atta girl. God. Those shifts, man. Yep, yep. 
Yep, those Brembo's doing their job. Doing their job. You can't ride an H2 and not be in a good mood, man. <laughs> what an incredible machine. Holy cow. This guy is all over the road. Hence another reason why it's scary to really push it on the streets, man. Because I could be coming around this corner right here. And look, he's over the double yellow. Boom. You hit the side of the car, flip over it, like... <sighs> If you're in a car, please don't try and keep up with bikes. Like, I don't even want to be close behind him because I feel like he feels pressure to ride hard or drive hard. Like, bikes can stop, maneuver, and accelerate a lot quicker at a situation oh, than cars can. Yes, sir. Let's go, Nina. Had to get around him. <laughs> Man, y'all be safe out there for real. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> oh, listen to that supercharger flutter. <laughs> Bro, like what? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. There goes Tanner. I can't wait to get this bike flashed. Chris, we gotta get this bike flashed ASAP, man. We both have been super busy, and I've been out of town so much, and so has he. But I gotta get down there and get this bike flashed ASAP. Because these bikes went from, uh, like, stock? These really aren't that fast. Like, they have so many restrictions on them. Like, I think it was making 195, like, horsepower to the wheel. Stop. And then he flashed one, and it made 240. Like, 50 horsepower difference in just a flash along with a filter. That is absurd. So like when you see videos of people beating stock H2s, like to put it into perspective, my R1 was putting 191 horsepower down on that same dyno that an H2 stock put 195 down on. <laughs> Which is kind of wild. And the H2 is a lot, I mean the A of the H2. The R1M is a lot lighter than this bike. So yeah, I know Nina, we'll get you in lots. We'll get you running right. Let's hit it real quick. Golly. Alright, here we go. That's all I got for y'all. I, I gotta get to work. <laughs> if y'all enjoyed that video, make sure you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Join the fast lane gang. Bang. Bang. <laughs> oh, this thing is so ridiculous, dude. And it's not even flashed. Yeah, y'all let me know. What do y'all think about the wings and everything? I love it. The H2 is such a overkill bike but you gotta put the overkill parts on here it just matches the bike perfectly <laughs> but all right guys tanner fastlane d nina blondie we out i'll catch you on the next one Peace.